This report challenges ComEd's assertion that customers were not harmed by the bribery scandal. Illinois Purg contends that ComEd delivery rates went up 37 percent with little benefit to customers. A new report examining the law at the center of the ComEd scandal shows the utility giant improved its bottom line while it underdelivered on promises. Their profits come from our bills, and they've done very well thanks to this law. The law is the 2011 Energy Infrastructure Modernization Act, which is at the center of the federal bribery scandal that reaches Illinois House Speaker Michael Madigan. Illinois Perg concludes that the smart grid legislation marked the beginning of ComEd's illegal scheme to increase its power and influence. We don't think that raising rates uh, to help the company uh, get more profits is the best way to get better service. Nine years ago, the legislation was enacted despite then-Governor Pat Quinn's veto and opposition from then-Attorney General Lisa Madigan. To get what it wanted, the report says ComEd launched a campaign to build political power and win over Speaker Madigan. We now know that one reason this campaign was successful was because it involved an illegal and corrupt bribery scheme to influence the Speaker and his associates, the public interest group writes. These stories that we're telling about the negative impacts of this law and the story everyone's become familiar with about this corruption scandal this summer are intertwined. This email from a document dump last week dated exactly 10 years ago describes a meeting a high-ranking ComEd official had with Madigan. The speaker told him to put the formula rate proposal in bill format. Madigan's close confidant, Michael McLean, a former ComEd and Exelon executive, a retired lobbyist, and others face federal indictment for the alleged bribery scam. Speaker Madigan has not been charged with a crime and denies wrongdoing. People need to know that we shouldn't just rely on this federal investigation to right the wrongs of the last decade. Uh, Illinois legislators need to act and change public policy so that we stop overpaying for our utility bills and get better value. ComEd continues to say that the 2011 law resulted in substantial benefits for customers and they were not harmed. Illinois Perg would like a full audit of ComEd and hopefully to get some money back for customers, Mike and Ryan.